Hi, I'm Mae Wormser, the Director of the Center for Middle East Policy at the Hudson Institute. I'm going to talk today about the Israeli elections. Um, the Israeli elections are of great consequence, uh, both to the United States and internationally, for the simple reason that right now, the buildup of the Israeli government after this election will very much determine what will happen vis-a-vis -vis Iran. If indeed we will see a national unity government that will be formed by Mr. Netanyahu, a government that will include both Tsipi Livni of Kadima and Ehud Barak of Labor, which is precisely what Bibi Netanyahu is attempting to do right now, it is very likely that we will see some sort of an Israeli action against Iran. Uh, the national unity government will be necessary to give uh, such an action both the legitimacy and the broad-based um, consensus within Israeli society that is necessary for such an action. It is seen by Mr. Netanyahu, and he has repeatedly said in all of his spe speeches, both before and since the elections, that Iran is his number one issue, it is the greatest threat to Israel, and that he believes that he has no more time to deal with it. Um, we also have seen an IAEA report uh, in the last few days, which claims that um, Iran has uh, ha has enriched um, about one ton uh, of uranium at a low grade. Uh, Israel, Israeli sources, um, have told me repeatedly that this is Israel's absolute red line point, because from this point on, Iran only needs to enrich at a high grade level for a very short time before they actually reach a single bomb. The situation, uh, the political situation, therefore, is, is, um, is uh, within Israel is, is very uh, complicated and has tremendous consequences. Uh, Mr. Netanyahu does not want to have a right, right-wing coalition. He already has a right, right coalition. He doesn't really need to go out of his way uh, to form a coalition. Uh, but he doesn't want that, because such a government will be seen as extreme, um, as irresponsible, as including too many elements that are so um, out of the pale politically, uh, internationally, that it will seem like the an, any attack on Iran was just the consequence of a bunch of extremists who happen to have been in power in Israel. This is certainly not what Netanyahu wants or needs. Um, he views this as very much of a Churchillian moment. This might be the most important moment in Israel's history.